Uh, hi everybody, it's Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Happy New Year everybody. I know I haven't been on in a while. Uh, busy with the holidays and all that stuff. So now we're in January and winter is definitely here. It was uh, a balmy nine here today in New Hampshire and uh, the cold weather is definitely here. So fishing is, unless things change, uh, you know, greatly here, um, I think probably I'll be, probably not be fishing until uh, March if we're lucky or probably April. But um, um, the last few weeks I have gotten a few baits I wanted to show you guys. Um, uh, a few weeks ago before the holidays I was at my mom's over in New York and in Mayfield, New York, which is where my mom is close to, she's over in, the, in the Edinburgh, which is close um, there's a great tackle shop up there, Jim's Bait Shop and um, <clears throat> I stopped over there when I was up there and I didn't have any of these, uh, these uh, Savage Gear Ned Salamanders so I wanted to try them out and uh, he had them there so I was like, oh great, because I've been wanting to get these and so I got four packs, so let me show them to you quick. Um, I believe it's a five pack, yeah. So here's what the package looks like. This is Savage Gear. Um, and I think the only thing, I, I'd have to check uh, the bait racks over there, but I think the only Savage Gear stuff I really have is their swim baits, but, you know, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, you know, I don't know how long ago they came out with this, Ned, but I've been meaning to try it. And uh, so I got some. Um, so this is their, this is a green pumpkin. And it's a three inch bait, five pack. I'll show you what they look like. So they do come in that nice clamshell so they're not gonna get all bent up. So for you Ned guys out there and you wanna show something a little different, there's your Ned body with some little, little legs on it, like a salamander. So there's your three inch Savage Gear Ned salamander and it's green pumpkin. So I have to have a a tech uh, Ned hook right here. So let me rig one of these up. I haven't taken these out of the pack yet. And it does have, just looking at the bait close, does have a nice little hook slot here on the back. Um, and they're very stretchy. Very stretchy. So I'm sure you could probably catch a bunch of fish on these before they, uh, you know, tear up on you. But let me see how they are, how easy or hard. I haven't, I've never rigged one of these up before. So I'm just going to go to about... Eh, we'll go back to the middle of that little slot. Let's see how that is. So these are very elastic. It's almost like a Z-Man stuff, a last tech stuff. But I don't know what they call theirs, but there you go. Actually gets on pretty easy. Now it's a little thin between this this head and the body. So I might want to go the next time I rig one of these on, I might want to go a little deeper into that that section. Um, get a little more bait into there, but you guys get the idea. So there you go. There's your Z-Man Ned Salamander. Let me take that back off and put it back in the pack. So see how it is a little thinner right there between the head and the body. So when you do rig it, I would go, make sure you go in that middle there, get a little deeper into the plastic around the, uh, <clears throat> around the body when you first get in. But it should stay on the hook really well. Definitely should last. So here you go, there's the green pumpkin version. Uh, let's see, what's this one? This is green pumpkin, purple, and copper. Green pumpkin, purple, and copper. I think these were the only colors that he, I think there was a pearl one too that I didn't get, but I figured I'll start with these ones. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> so there's your Savage Gear Ned Salamander. You can see that, how well it's gonna come out on camera there, but you can definitely see that gold in there. You can see that purple flake in there. You guys get that a little closer. Hopefully it won't be too blurry for you. But there you go. Really neat. So the fact that they're so elastic-y, you get a five-pack, they should last for a while. Uh, let's see. This is watermelon red. <clears throat> a pack of that, watermelon red. So they look at the pack. Definitely see the red flake in there. Now I don't, anybody who's used these can tell me, I don't know if they have that same, those same properties of like the Z-Man baits where if you put them next to a regular soft plastic, they're gonna just melt together. I don't know if that happens with these. I'll look on the pack and see if it says anything about it. Usually they give you a warning if it does. Um, but there you go, watermelon red. Z-Man Ned Salamander, really cool. Looking forward to trying these out. I was watching a uh, 
one of the tactical bassin videos the other day and there and uh, the guys were talking about how this is a bait they really like to throw and it's one of their favorite become one of their favorite neds so i'm looking forward to trying it out there you go there's your watermelon red now let me just see quick here if it says anything about putting it next to no oh, okay right there do not store Durotech with any other kind of soft plastics or in conventional plastic storage boxes. We recommend storing Durotech in its original packaging. So it must have those same chemicals, properties of the Z-Man bait. So that means that it's going to melt. So if you guys get these, just keep them in these packs. Just keep them right in these and you won't have to worry about them, you know, ruining your baits. Um, <clears throat> okay. Last one, I believe is a black and blue. Yeah, black and blue. Can't go wrong with that. And there you go. Get the black, get your blue flake in there. Blue flakes. Nice looking little bait. So that's it. That's the Savage Gear Ned Salamander. And I know they have a couple other Ned baits, which I don't have yet. Um, <clears throat> I haven't tried yet, so if I get some, I'll, I'll show them to you guys. But that's what they look like. If you guys are thinking about getting them, um, there you go. And just like your Z-Mans, just keep them in this packaging so they don't melt on you. And um, I don't know if this will come out on here, but um, if you can see that, I'm going to put it in the description. It's probably just going to be a white. To me, it looks like a white blur when I look at it. Um, <laughs> I don't see anything, actually. Um, but it's Jim's Bait Shop. 118 Second Ave Extension, Mayfield, New York, 12117. If you guys are in that area, if you're ever up by Great Sagandaga Reservoir fishing and you need some tackle, he's got a great shop there. <clears throat> Lots of nice baits, and he can you know tell you what's working on the lake at that time. Um, but I'll put the I'll put his address and everything in the uh, in the description so you guys know where to go if you if you're up that way and you want to do some uh, some tackle shop. But he's got a really great tackle shop, great tackle shop. So uh, check it out. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, like I said, Happy New Year to everybody. I'm going to get back in the flow here now that uh, the holidays have calmed down. And it's five degrees outside, so I'm not really doing much outside. Um, but um, <clears throat> I do have some a jerkbait video I'm going to put together um, either tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to show off the uh, new Berkeley Stunner that I got some of those. Some of the uh, Six Cents uh, 106 DDs, the Deeper Divers. Um, got some Smithwicks, some Rogues I got that came in. I want to show you guys. And I did get a Tackle Warehouse order that came uh, yesterday that I'll do a, a, an unboxing of that and show that to you guys uh, in the upcoming days. All right. So that's it for now. Mark out. See you soon.